Social networking has dramatically changed the way we interact with the world. This is great in the sense that we can now connect to our long lost childhood friends and overseas relatives, but some psychologists worry that perhaps our interpersonal interactions are becoming too impersonal. Professor of Psychology Christine Bacho believes that the greater fear of what's perhaps taking place is that kids are not learning how to behave in a face-to-face -face conversation. Psychologist Michael S. Broder has similar concerns, stating, Kids who have a problem relating socially have found a way to avoid learning those skills. Another concern is that overuse of social media can create a false sense of connection. People begin <laughs> focusing so much of their energy on their online life but it can become difficult to distinguish between their digital friendships and their real life relationships. These sites encourage us to share our personal life with the world, but there is also the danger of oversharing. Our filters of personal privacy have shifted and this can come back to bite us. A picture of you out drinking with your mates is fine to share in your inner circle, but what would a snooping potential employer think? Perhaps one of the most worrying developments is cyberbullying. Those who cyberbully someone can be distanced from the distress that they cause. The National Children's Home Study in Britain found that one in four children have been bullied on the internet. This issue can leave teenagers with deep emotional scars and has even led to suicide. The more we connect, the more distant we seemingly become.